Good sunny afternoon to you. This is Angela with Park Rose Permaculture. My last video I talked about how I redid a bed along the side of my house and put in a Clematis Montana and a rambling new dawn rose. And in the process of that, I removed two mature blueberries. So I thought I would just talk a little bit today about what I did with those two blueberries. You can see one is right here. And the other one is right there. Now, in planting these, if you were going to transplant a large mature blueberry, this one is 10 years old and was planted from a little twig not much bigger than my index finger. A couple of things to think about. Blueberries have shallow, fragile roots. And when you transplant a mature blueberry, it really stresses it out. It does not like having its roots disturbed at all. So what I've found is that when I transplant a mature blueberry, the secret to success is threefold. One is immediately prune it quite a bit. Even if it's spring, even if you know you will lose blueberries this year by pruning off material, take that blueberry and prune it because with a damaged root system, having all of this foliage and plant material above the surface is going to stress your plant out. So the more you can remove particularly damaged branches or older branches or crossing branches, but in general, just thin it out some, the more you are reducing the stress on your damaged root system. So once I have thinned out my blueberries, when I dig the hole for them, I want to make sure that I amend it correctly. If I have a sweet pH, I want to lower that pH to 4.5 to 5.5. So that means adding elemental sulfur and you can get a little bit of a temporary boost to acidify your pH by adding coffee grounds and pine needles. Although that's a short term solution, elemental sulfur will um, help you in the long run. I also want to add my rock dust minerals as my other trace minerals at this time when I'm planting. If you use other amendments like compost or um, I use composted duck manure in the hole and I actually put um, dog poop from around the yard in the hole when I plant a uh, perennial. That just gives it that extra boost. I don't want to feed it too heavily because I don't want to encourage too much um, uptake of nitrogen and too much leafy growth because again I have a stressed out root system. And then I want to mulch it really well with a good thick layer of mulch that will help conserve and hold the water against this plant while it is growing new roots. I don't want the roots that are left to be stressed out and dried out. So a good thick layer of mulch. So make sure you prune it back, you amend the soil correctly before you plant it, and that you really get a good thick layer of mulch. Now, how did I decide to put this here? Okay, let me back up a little bit. I know that these aren't super exciting to look at this time of year because they're mostly just sticks. Um, I know what the layout of my garden is, right? So I know that I have peonies here, nigella here. There's a rhubarb here in this corner. All along this fence is comfrey. I have a native Indian plum here, my Concord grape here, and a lilac here. So I know in the context of this corner, this blueberry is going to fit in nicely and get sufficient sun. I also wanna leave a little bit of a path to get back into here to get to my grapes and to get to my rhubarb. So for me, this shape of the blueberry, this size blueberry, this seemed like a good spot to put it. Also, I'm running out of spots in my garden, so my choices were limited. Now let's go look at the other one. So now we're standing in my golden raspberry patch and we are getting ready to walk down to where I planted the other blueberry. So I wanna walk down the path between the raspberries. To my left, I have some June berries that I moved. If you notice a few videos ago, I talked about how I was gonna move these, one here. I divided it into two, so there's one there. I have a mint patch here. I have the Indian plum. There's the other blueberry I planted. Chicken coop, rambling rose, high bush cranberry, one, two, three sea buckthorn. Also with underplanted with mint. And this is where I decided to put the Darrow blueberry. 
so we're at the end of my raspberry row here so it's a little bit shaded but really still quite a lot of sun here i know my blueberry is not going to be too shaded to me it seemed like a good location i always want to put fruit that i pick off of and graze like raspberries like my juneberry like blueberries along the sides of paths so that as I stroll through the garden I can reach down and pick and snack on them and also if I walk by them every day for instance on the way to the chicken coop I know that I am more likely to harvest these I'm more likely to take a bowl down on my way to let the chickens out in the morning and stop and pick blueberries so in permaculture, we talk about our zones and we talk about also putting things where they're useful, putting things where you are likely to interact with them at appropriate times. So for me, again, putting berries along pathways means I'm much more likely to pick and eat them and also can them and freeze them. So again, I have taken the time to remove excess dead, crossed, damaged, broken, branches and also a few healthy ones. I really want to take off a lot of the pressure of this dinged up root system to take care of these leaves and branches. And I see one here. Hang tight. Come in here and take out this dead one. So this blueberry should produce well this year. It's going to have less of a crop because I have taken it back but in doing so, I have secured its future. Again, that thick layer of mulch underneath and I prepped the hole correctly. Now I have these piles of prunings, what can I do with them? Some folks have said blueberries can be difficult for them to root. I have found when I prune my blueberries, if I want to propagate them, I cut them to an appropriate size and I dip them in a little rooting hormone. So cut it here. I dip it in a little bit of rooting hormone and then I want to come up here and remove extra side branches off of it and I'll stick it in the ground about the length of my hand. And it doesn't always root, but as long as I have these prunings and I don't have any other use for them, I might as well try and propagate some more blueberries out of them. And I found that it's been successful enough that I have gone from six purchased blueberries on my property to I have probably more than 20 blueberry plants now, which is actually far too many and I'm thinking about removing some because it's more than we know what to do with. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit of my thought process and how I set my mature transplanted blueberries up for success in the landscape and how I set myself up for success in the landscape by putting my food crops in an ideal position where I am going to utilize them to their best advantage. So thanks for watching. Thanks for looking at my video where I point out a bunch of twigs that I am transplanting, but I will be sure and update you in the summer when these are all leafed out, doing well and full of blueberries. If you are thinking about planting blueberries, March is the time to do it in the Pacific Northwest, so go for it. Get those blueberries in the ground, get them set up for a good year ahead.